Start recording. Stop recording. Button. Speech off. Hey guys, it's World of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here. And today, I'm actually going to be talking about the 1987 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TV show. So, grab a pizza, grab popcorn, grab something, and just sit down and enjoy. So basically, we're not going to be about 10 to 15 minutes talking on this subject, but this is TMNT Madness Episode 2, and the first TMNT Madness is the most popular video on this channel, so let's make it as popular, or that more popular, because there are going to be lots of very old school hungry fans for that old nostalgic series from the 80s. It was a great series. Even though I'm in a new generation of turtles, starting from 2003 to the present, I've always been introduced to the 1987 series. Credit goes to a fan of the original series for making this possible. Speak, turn, hope, close, button. Okay, excuse me. Back, button. I need to plug in my camera. So, if you please excuse me. All right. All right. Just excuse me. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. And present right here. There we go. There we go. Back. Stop recording. Camera chooser. Back facing. Stop recording. Button. Speech off. Okay. So I'm going to have to be talking from this distance. But, okay, okay, I don't know. Hang on. I'm gonna have to throw the wall for a while. Or show something for a while. You see? Alright, here we go again. Credit goes to a fan of the Turtles way back when for uh, having me watch this series. Leonardo, voiced by Cam and Clark, or, or Cam Clark, Donatello by Barry Gordon, Barry Gordon, voiced by Donatello, Raphael, voiced by Robert Parson, I mean, Rob, Rob Paulson, and Michelangelo by... Townsend Coleman. Splinter by Splinter was voiced by Peter Renate. Renate. Renate, whatever. April voiced by. Okay, I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly, but she was voiced by someone. Shredder was voiced by James Avery. Crane. Pat Frog, Rocksteady, Ken Clark, Bebop, Town, uh, what? Townsend Coleman, or Barry Gordon? It was one of them, too. Uh, I pretty much know these, uh. So, yeah. It ran for 10 seasons, ran 493 episodes. Lasted 193 episodes. Um, a cool thing about them is that they had initials on their belts. They were all four feet tall. And yet they drove a van. How cool is that? Mm. So yeah, it was a fun video. Uh, series. Um... It didn't last 26 episodes like the uh, series after that did. Uh, if you want to look at that. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, excuse me. 
The first episode I ever watched was Corporate Raiders of Dimension X, Season 3, Episode 24. Now, how cool is that, right? Or Season 20, uh, Episode 25, I'm sorry. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, what a fun series. And... It's kind of cool, though. <laughs> It was a cool series, how they used all their weapons, and it wasn't all that dark until season 8. It was kind of dark, I tell ya. Dark. Dark series. Seasons 8 through 10 were a bit darker than the other um, seasons. Most of the show was completely funny, but yet... As the series grew on from 1994 to the end of 1996, I mean the end of season 10 in 1996, there were less jokes, less comedy, and more darkness. Well, you know, it was more like that of a cartoon from the 90s. But yet... It was still a good series, nonetheless. At the uh, beginning of season nine, no. In season ten, for the last season, for the last eight episodes, Michael Go voiced Raphael. And even Townsend Coleman himself voiced Splinter for a few episodes, and yet he was one of the turtles. Wow. Like, seriously, you, you gotta give him props for that. Because back in the 1980s and 1990s, like, I kind of imagined what it would be like if they were actually on TV. And yet, they don't even run them on TV anymore. They have them on DVD still, but um, I, as far as I know, they do, but they do not have them on VHS, I tell ya. Because that, back in the day, that's what they had, VHS. And they had a lot of movies. They had six movies, and they're getting a brand new one coming out. First three movies were kind of cool, but we're just about to go here for the series. Now, there's one episode where one of the turtles, like, the episode was kind of dark, and it was the Dark Turtle. Night of the Dark Turtle. It was one of the season seven episodes back in 1993. So yeah. Basically, there were a lot of jokes and comedy in that series. Now, raise your hand if you remember all the comedy and jokes and all that stuff that the series had. I was introduced to it, and I heard all the episodes. Watched them all, heard them all, seen them all, ask away. I mean, James Avery has passed away. Um, he would be 70, what, three? Jeez. Why these actors die 
is what uh, completely unknown to me. But, well, if you haven't known, the 1997 Turtles have made several comebacks. Not an, of, not an official comeback in the 2009 Turtles Forever movie, but it is a 75% comeback. Because the reason I say that is, is because the original voice actors couldn't do it for some reason. Like something to do with, well, you know, budget or copyright or something, but then they made other comebacks. In like 2000, in the 2012 series, they made three comebacks. One in an episode called The Worm, where they uh, were the turtles, the current turtles of that era, of the 2012 series, they go to the 1987 uh, dimension, and that's where the worm is, and that's where one of the Ninja Turtles, like, you know, that's where one of the that that is one of the Ninja Turtles episodes. Then they make another comeback for a full episode in season four. It was episode ten, trans dimension, trans dimensional. Trans-dimensional trans turtles. I think that's what it was called. But yeah, that was cool. And then the last three episodes of the 2012 TMNT series, that's when they make their final comeback. Uh, as of right now, that's when they make their final comeback. As of right now. So... So a lot has changed over the years in the way of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The original is always the best. That's why I always say I like the original of everything. But I never knew there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series back in the 1980s. I didn't even know that even existed. And then there's that catchy theme song, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, here's in a half shell, turtle power, they're the world's most fearsome fighting team. <laughs> I like singing that, that's kind of, you know, cool. That is actually kind of cool, that is one of the easiest themes to actually get stuck in your head. Now, if you were the kid, if you were a kid back in the 1990s, which I wasn't, I was born into a new generation of turtles since 2003 to the present, but I don't, like, you know, I don't usually say my age. Um, I, I, um, I guess I could say that I grew up watching the 1987 series and didn't really like the 2003 series that much. And that was the um, next official comeback in 2009. I guess it was 25th and 25 years of turtles. 20, yeah, 25 probably. Oh no, that can't be. Let's see, 1984, uh, 94, 04. Yeah, 25 years of turtles. Back then... I mean, like, that was kind of cool, I must say, to see the turtles in a comeback. But the originals, like, seeing them as young actors in their 20s, 30s, uh, from their 20s, 30s, 40s, to their 50s, I believe, or 60s for that matter, 
let's say 20 is from their from I guess their late 20s to their late 50s early 60s there were a lot of actors in that show a lot of good actors um I tell you they were good One episode is funny of the Turtles, season four, episode nine. Well, the Turtles actually um, are watching Planet of the Turtles. A turtle wrestling match with two turtles. Hunts and Feats are their names. And then, yet, they go to Shredder. It goes to Shredder, like, you know, Switches to the scene of Shredder and Krang and all that stuff. And yet they're watching the same the same program. Or the same... Mm, uh, channel? The same station, I would say. And uh, they actually see the commercial for... Personal Energy Protect projector or P.E.P. Pep <laughs> uh, the, the actor that voiced um, Rupert the turtle that advertised that thing that was kind of a comedic thing to watch that I don't know April's voice actress name off the top of my head. She was voicing April's mom of the 2012 series. I just can't remember. Just put it in the comments. Um, so yeah. There we go. There's TMNT Madness Episode 2.